Angelo again. This time we're going to be reviewing the next model up in the Whitley range, the CR2180. The CR2180 is the larger brother of the compact CR2080, which we reviewed just recently. The main difference is on the outside, the CR2180 has a walk around. What Whitley have cleverly done is utilize the space that was created when molding the walk around to create a deeper shelf inside the boat that allowed them to make the berths a little bit wider than the 2080. Also, the way the bunk infills fit are somewhat different. These use three separate panels that are fully upholstered that sit in as required. You'll notice with this particular boat that we fitted it up with a few optional extras. One of which is the compact DVD display panel, which you can also have converted into a TV by installing a digital antenna. This particular boat runs two speakers, which are linked to the Fusion sound system to provide you plenty of power. Stepping back from the berth, we end up in the cockpit area, which is also the family entertainment zone. Now, the way this boat's currently been arranged uses some features that are common to many Whitleys. Those are convertible seats with backrests that fold out of the way to reveal storage and utility space underneath. The helm area once again is similar to what you'll find on the CR2080 with one major difference and that is the inclusion of a dedicated panel for a sounder or a GPS. In this instance the boat's been fitted with a Raymarine Dragonfly 7, a compact but very efficient little unit. Above that you've got the standard gauge sweep that includes taco, speedo, temp and so forth. Whitney have opted to get away from the traditional way of fusing boats. Rather than individual fuses to all the boat's individual components, they run a circuit breaker system called Membrane. What Membrane allows them to do is link all of the boat's systems into a central computer, which also acts as a circuit breaker. From then, it's just a matter of touching the credit card side key panel, a red light comes on, the unit functions. Simple and effective. There is one button in this boat which is not common to many boats, but certainly common to all Whitley Stern drives and that is the Nutrisol button. What that Nutrisol button does is actually flushes the engine for you. It does it in about 45 seconds, all while the boat's still in the water, just after you've driven it back on the trailer. It saves you from getting home, trying to run cold water through a cold engine, waiting for the thermostats to open up. It's simple, functional, and as I said, standard across the Whitley Stern Drive range. The rear of the boat is fairly standard Whitley fare. You've got a reasonably wide cockpit area that leads to the transom, which features removable quarter seats. Once again, the quarter seats are built in two stages. You've got the removable seat cushion, followed by a removable step, which can be either left in place for access in and out of the boat, or taken out for access all the way to the transom. Beyond the transom, and standard for the 2015 model year, Whitley have installed an extended boarding platform. What that does is give you an additional metre roughly of additional floor space for no additional charge. It puts you out above the water where all the action is. It's a great spot to sit out and have a fish or by using the standard utility bar, pop in a bait board or the optional barbecue and cook dinner. It's just plain simple and clever thinking.